Jewel in Harry. And um, last time I was in the Bahamas, I did like a holiday lookbook, what I wore when I was in the Bahamas, and I thought that I would do the same for Paris. So, um, shockingly warm, but not yet. So I've done a bit of an outfit that I hope is going to work. This is my traveling outfit. So we have done the Frank shop, little crop shirt, bralette underneath, so that if it gets a little too warm, we unbutton titties to the wind. Then, bag, SJP Fendi baguette. This is the combination that we've done for the day. These theory cargo trousers, which I have been wearing a lot, and I really like, and I think that they, you know, look good on me. And there's Kelly belt to give a little bit of pulling everything together. And the Mulberry Axel Arigato sneakers. That, to be honest with you, need a bit of a clean, but that is a testament to the fact that I've been wearing them pretty much every single day since I got them. Excited about Paris, there shall be a shopping vlog to follow as well, because when in Paris, one must do two of two things, eat and shop. Outfit of the night, day one. Let me talk you through it, because I'm very proud of myself. Also, have I packed the best for this trip? No, because I didn't realise that it was going to be like 30 degrees um, the whole time I'm here. So, not equipped, but sometimes that is the card that you dealt and you've just got to deal with it. So, this is what we're working with. Why am I wearing all black in the summer once again? Don't ask questions that I don't know the answers to, top to toe. We've got <laughs> Tiffany Hardware earrings. Okay, I'm gonna to briefly touch on the jacket. I got the Alexandra Bothur jacket. And it was 40% off. I'll be going through it in a haul. How killer is this? Stop. Top, Paco Raban that I got from 24S recently. The skirt, can you see it? Also Paco, right? It's floor length and I've gone for my Gucci platforms. We've gone silver hardware and uh, the bag. How dare I? The bag. Just a pop, just a pop of colour. What am I doing that warrants such an outfit? I'm going to Crazy Horse, which is burlesque, I believe is the easiest way to describe it. And I thought, let's do it. Let's give a little bit of Parisian chic tailoring with oh, what a sexiness. So that's what I ho I'm hoping I'm serving. <laughs> Today was a really, really nice day because earlier in the day, I didn't show much, sorry, um, I met a family relation that I've never met before. This is my mum's cousin's daughter and her son, and honestly, just had the best time. So yeah, that was lovely. Anyway, I hope you like the look because I'm kind of obsessed with it. Here is the outfit in motion. Honestly, one of my like top outfits that I've worn this year, truly. I'm obsessed with it. The jacket, 10 out of 10. Anyway. Day two in Paris. Today we are starting some shopping. Okay, so we're going to do Gallery Lafayette. There shall be a vlog from top to toe. Oh, by the way, yesterday, um, Crazy Horse, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend you have to go if you're okay with nudity uh, because there's nudity from start to finish. But it is so well choreographed and the production and everything is just like mesmerizing, truly. Have to go, totally worth the money. Okay, top to toe, Rick Owens huge uh, shield sunglasses. The Tiffany Hardware earrings that I've very much been enjoying, to be honest with you. We have got my favourite Vivian Westwood fitted shirt rolled up the sleeves, my Frankie Shop Scott, back with the Axel Arigato Mulberry sneakers because they are very comfy and I did give them a little bit of a clean, a little bit of a wipe so that I look presentable. And because I thought the rest of the outfit was actually quite safe for me, I thought let's add a We've got my Louis Vuitton Keep All Excess. That is, one moment, packed to the brim with things so that we are ready to slay the day. Let's go. One of the things that we did on this day was go to Caviar Caspia. Okay, so everybody, like, for fashion weeks, oh my gosh, people are always at Caviar Caspia. It's always such a thing, right? And so I thought, oh my gosh, let's do it. I, you know, I'm not rushing back. I would happily go the rest of my life with never, with never going back there. So we had the set menu, which was called the Rasputin, which came with a ginormous blini with smoked salmon. It was huge. And then it also comes with the very famous baked potato topped with 20 grams of caviar. It's fine. You know, it's not something that I ever see myself craving. Oh, and we also got the king crab pasta. Also fine gladly never have it again so if you've ever thought oh my gosh i really want to go to caviar caspian and you haven't ah 
I don't really think you're missing out. This evening as well, we did the Eiffel Tower with the family members that I was talking to you about earlier. And it was really, really special to do, especially with a child. It was just really exciting and fun to see things through his eyes. And we had a wonderful time and made lots of great memories. So that was really, really special. And today we are at Palace of Versailles in all of its opulence and glory. So I thought if there's any day for me to wear this fabulous floral Zimmerman micro cliche dress that also Beyonce has, um, today is the day for gallivanting through the gardens and whatnot and feeling like a princess. The sunglasses are Chanel and they have these little crystal trims across the top, little crystal CCs, Jacquemus hoop earrings, because I like hoops with this dress, bralette and trainers because obviously wanted to make it daytime, wanted to make it casual and that's what I like about this dress, it can be dressed up and down very easily. Bag, Chanel, mini, rectangular from I want to say 23p but I can't keep up with the clothes so there we go. Well, I may as well do a summary of Versailles while I'm at it. Absolutely ginormous. I did forget how big it was. That's on me. I feel like we got there a bit too late in the day to do everything. Though then again, I do wonder if you can do everything in one day. I don't think you can. Anyway, we got on this little train that takes you around um, key points in the gardens, which was great. However, zero suspension. So keep that in mind. <laughs> My bones were rattling on that journey anyway absolutely stunning it was also a beautiful day to do something like this but the main reason actually that we were visiting Paris is because we got this private tour of a part of the palace the most opulent over the top in your face gaudy and beautiful thing ever um well worth a trip the Hall of Mirrors, it was actually a really, really busy day to go. Everywhere was like packed, the Hall of Mirrors, everything. But it is definitely worth a bit of a trip if this is something that interests you. It is a really good day out. And it was about an hour, 40 minutes away from Paris. Here is the outfit in motion through uh, the palace. Does she work? I feel like she works. The Queen's bedroom, by the way. Let's stay in Paris. museums and all of that and still do all the shopping and eating of what wants to do but the final look and this is also my travel look hence it's not that exciting is this t-shirt is cotton citizen copy mini kelly this was meant to bring me hermes look no hermes look okay okay um <laughs> elton john is in paris sunglasses gucci vista special the jeans are levi's uh, 501 90s style which i think is the style that suits me most Emma's Kelly belt and the trusty sneakers of this trip, Axel Arigato Mulberries. And my Evian water bottle that really completes the look and seals everything together. The past how many days that I've been here, four days total, I've been applying for an appointment every night. Every night I get a rejection. Oh, due to the high number of requests. Rah, 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 try again tomorrow. Okay? So this time. I apply and I get an email that says actually it's all like jumbled up it doesn't say yes or no it's literally like a load of like like somebody's cat has ran across the keyboard key so I go in I say this is the situation oh, all right looks promising oh, maybe she goes down the appointment list my name is not on there of course not by the way I had a neb at the appointment list looks about 20 people so, you know maybe see if there's any cancellations but we don't tend to get cancellations. Fine, I go to leather goods. I explain the situation. Da -da -da, she goes, oh, yeah, well, you know, it's so hard to get an appointment because 30 to 50,000 people apply a day. How long are you here for? I said, I leave today. She goes, ah, uh, yeah, you're gonna have a better chance if you're here for three weeks. Well, I'm not here for three weeks. <laughs> So she was like, oh, what are you looking for? And I was like, do you want to know what? Like, it's not even technically a quota bag. It's the whatever bag. Even if it's not a quota bag, it doesn't matter. You still need an appointment for it. And I was like, oh, all right then. So that's the end of that short tale of rejection from Hermes. So not this time. It wasn't meant to be. 
it's fine but like the queues outside all of these stores are crazy like at openings like 50 people deep it's insane i don't think like i've seen this in london definitely not in new york I hope that you enjoyed this. I had such a good time in Paris. And the last time I was in Paris was like 2015 or something like that. No, maybe like 2017. Anyway, and um, that trip was semi-ruined because Nii got very ill on it. But it was so nice. I really just wish that I'd had more time there. And honestly, like... It's so close to the UK. I don't know why I didn't take more advantage of it when I lived in London, but hopefully with me visiting home and stuff from New York, I can sort of incorporate the odd Paris trip back in there because it was just, it was just really, really lovely. And you know, I'd like to do all of the touristy stuff again. There are lots of like amazing food places that I w would have wanted to have gone to and all of that. So oh, I need to be back soon, basically. So I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.